Hello and welcome to another part of Shadowrunk Hong Kong Extended Edition by Old Man Memo. And the last episode we spent again a lot of time in here searching for clues, getting new quests and learning a lot about our past. We found our secret past of we found secret past of our foster father which According to the rumors we got, or information, is a husband on one very powerful woman in Hong Kong. And today we will move forward with the story, but first we will go into the Rector's personal mission to retrieve a prototype weapon and some other things from RS research facility. So, if you enjoyed the previous parts, I hope you will enjoy this one as well. Let's go! Misdirection Central Hong Kong spills out along Victoria Harbour, all glittering chrome and unknown flesh against the night's darkness. The, the skyscrapers are a jagged nest of mirrored knives thrust into the sky, rending the clouds as they ascend into the heavens. The RS Asia Holdings complex squats menacingly over Chetra Road. A steel and concrete tumor intertwined with nearby buildings in a web of sky bridges and shared parking structures. You may you make your way inside and ascend to the fifth floor, a public foyer that connects to the restricted areas of the complex. As the elevator opens, you arrive in a cold, dimly lit reception area. Beyond it, your query awaits. You have karma available, but it's only one point, so... Objectives. Plant visitor records and find the location of the research lab. Exiting the RS Asia Holdings elevator on the fifth floor of the skyscraper complex, the antiseptic odor of the megacorporation's offices assails your nostrils. The immaculate uh, detailed interior speaks volumes of the wealth and control the North American industrial giants has come to wield over the free enterprise zone. Rector glances at his bracer pulling up a page of notes on Ares Asia Holdings and scrolling through it. We're looking for a lap between the floor 15 and 40. Everything below 15 is shopping and a recreation, and the residential areas span 41 to 92. The auto repair circuits should be up there as well. I know Taylor and Hardigan. They'll keep it close to their main lab so they can work on the project in their off hours. And they'll need specialized testing equipment, uh, things you can fit in an apartment, even a big one. So everything we're looking for will be near the main lab. Yes, once we plant the altered visitor record data, we can find the lab's precise location. From there, everything we need should be nearby. Okay, so we have a few doors and a receptionist secretary. Welcome to RS Asia Holdings, a division of RS Macro Technology. How may I assist you today? I've got a report on drone field testing I need to present. But you're obviously not an RS citizen. Why would you be presenting anything? Rector draws himself up straight, puffing his chest out as he raises his voice. 
I am Dr. Rector, formerly employed by Grishin Aviakor. I was director of drone development for over 10 years, and the drone you see is part of my latest project. He looks unsure of himself. You can see his eyes uh, flit to a conspicuous panic button mounted on the side of his desk, but he doesn't move. You aren't on the guest list. Rakta blows on, his booming voice cutting the secretary's question in half. It's a fully, it's a fully autonomous quadrupedal defense and attack drone with integrated fire direction data management, adaptive auto soft parsing, and modular weapon integration. This drone redefines bleeding edge. What's more, it has an adaptive experience registry sub program to which it learns. The secretary blinks a few times, his eyes glazed over by the Rex's barrage of techno bubble. Uh, I, uh, yes, I see. That's a lot of interesting information. What should I put down on the arrival sheet then? Rector regards the receptions coldly and curls one corner of his mouth into a sneer. Put down that I'm here to make a sales pitch, if there is any company in this world with an interest in cutting-edge combat drones, it should be RS macro technology. I have a full report on the field and stress test part-time to failure and combat efficacy. And I do not like being delayed. Very well, I have a pleasant... Have a pleasant evening, Doctor. Please stay on this floor until your escort from the drone research division arrives. Okay, so we need to check or wait for the escort. Let's see. How can we get... This is a possible to get with our drone. Let's see. Computer terminal. That sounds like something for our decker. This office computer doesn't appear to be fully locked. It rests on an info page about RS Asia Holdings. With a little finesse, a decker could probably get into the user's secured email. Let's check it first. This browse the information on RS Asia Holding. The contents of the page consists primarily of marketing jargon, smiling corporate citizens, and a lot of information about the relatively recent incorporation of RS Asia Holdings. Unfortunately, there's very little of value here unless you have an interest in stock photographs and corporate jingoism. So, let's deck our access the com into the computer storage. A few keystrokes later, and you have access to the machine secure storage, email, personal records and associated project data. From inside the machine secure storage, you can access recent email and the recent project updates. Read email. Most of the email is boring. Launch plans, updates on hardware requests, complaints about office lightning, and things of that nature. One threat catches your eye, though. Uh, secure data store IC code and security scheduling IC code. Good. Two new mission items. I don't know why you're having such a difficulty understanding our metrics upgrades, Chung. I've given you the bypass codes for the blocker IC at least three times already. Maybe you should write them down or something. Anyway, here they are again. These codes should allow you to bypass the blocker IC in our secure data store and also for security scheduling. 
CPL is that corporal? Quok Matrix Security Division. Don't sass me, Corporal. I wouldn't be in this situation if you hadn't been promising the Matrix upgrades would be complete next week for the past six months. After four months of waiting, I stopped thinking about it. No, every time I make a pull request from our depot, that dime I see gets in my persona's face and demands another set of passcodes. Thank you for the bypass codes, though. I'll write them on the back of my hand of or something. Dr. Chang, Aris Asia Research. Browse the project updates. Most of these employees' records involve construction projects in and around Hong Kong, but one project, referred to only as uh, Sharp 2231, stands out. Dr. Chung, I am concerned about the amount of resources you requested to Pure's Project 2231, particularly because we are RS Asia Holdings, not RS America. 2231 is an RS America project, not one of ours. What explanation can you offer for this uh, request? How can it be justified? Director Hu, RS Asia Finance. I understand your concerns, Director, but you should all be aware that all divisions of ours macro technology have been ordered to support Project 2231 where possible. Dr. Taylor and Dr. Hardingham are particularly interested in testing their prototype in support of Project 2231. I am simply requesting enough manpower to find suitable subject to test the prototype against. Dr. Chang, RS Asia Research. The risk involved in local research is unacceptable at this time. This is the entire reason the bulk of 2231 related research take place at complex 68G and why 68G is in the middle of frozen tundra. I would be willing to divert additional engineers for Taylor and Hard Games project if they would be willing to create another prototype with the intent of shipping it to complex 68G. Director Hui, RS Asia Finance. I'll talk to the I'll talk to them about it, director. If you think it's not possible any other way, I'll impress that upon them. Dr. Chang, RS Asia Research. From inside the machine secure storage, you can access recent email and recent project updates. So let's go back. The computer sits impassively through you, though you know how access to the office worker's email and records. The secure files, okay, it's the same. Okay, I think I forgot something here, so let's get back. Oh, and it's a matrix terminal, so. This computer appears to have an open port for a cyber deck. Let's check in. So I can get up to five programs. This one. Medic is okay. Killer is okay. This might be interesting. Um, AOE. Okay, that was AOE. We have no ASP, so let's check out how the matrix looks here. Hmm. 
is this a place where I can go right now? Or it's just a hole and... Uh, yes, it's, it's a hole. Oh, shoot. Okay, it's just 23, so it's not so bad. I messed up this one. Hmm. Looks like this place is free of the Racing. No. It was just out of my sight, so I haven't seen. What I haven't needed to see. Okay, let's get back. Found it was close. This one should be safe opposed to where I have been last time. Bullshit. Let's go right away here and let's stop doing stupid stuff. Good, that's a uh, brilliant place to stay. And we have st still here some robots. And another 23, so oh, man oh man. Oh, 
Let's get here. And let's get to the secure data store. Blocker IC rating 9. Let's try password. Secure data store IC code. G. U4. N. Y. U. Let's see if it works. G. Or. N. Y. U. It worked. Nice. Hey data, RS research files. Okay, so here we are and we can run away to the other side. And we have only... We need to be more cautious now. Let's see how the trace is. This one is safe. Yes, this one was safe. This one up is or not? It's not. Not. Let's go fast. Man, 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 move. Okay. That was close. Ten system tray, so let's we'll hit both of them. Only one. Myself. Hit yourself and let's see if I can hit this one has more chance to be hit with that. Use this one.
Nice. Okay, we have a little bit less system trees now as before. So this is not the place to be. Is there anything on the second side? Yes, it is. And I messed up. Woohoo! You're fast here. Security scheduling database. It's Z H or N G. F three I Z H four and G F three I Okay. Let's the let's try the password. What's that? Well, we'll see. It's time to get to the... Elevator or override control now. Password for this, so let's try to hack it. We have 30 seconds and one second delay. Okay, let's start. Okay, wrong. So let's go next. And this one. Elevator. Is override. Overridden. So it's time to go to one more doors or security thingy. Okay, go, go, go. <laughs> Lucky one. So I was still not in here.
Okay. Wow, that is pretty huge area. Might be a little bit complicated. Is this one clear? Probably. Okay, this is a uh, Gaswell 3 control. I don't have any password for that. Uh. Let me check out. Oh, let's try play a little bit. Twenty five seconds. That's one. Well, it's open. Let's inspect it. This subsystem is currently offline. It appears to be a one way of switch for a gas system. Hmm. Do I have to come back again? Okay, let's check out and see if there is anything interesting around first. Oh, the guys are away. The guards. But the elevator still does not work. Public terminal. Let's check it out. This is a public matrix terminal for guests and visitors. Its primary functions appear to be directory and new services, as well as a basic email. This is also a perfect terminal for you to upload the faked visitor records. Welcome to the Ares Asia Holdings. Please note all activity on public terminals is locked and recorded for security purposes. Please state your query. Search for Dr. Taylor. Uh, find the location of the research lab. Objective complete. Dr. Taylor, Taylor P. Paris Asia. Dot HK Central HKFEZ Drone Automated uh, Divi Drone Automation Division. Floor 27. 
Biography. Dr. Taylor has transferred uh, to the Hong Kong offices of RS Asia Holdings from his previous post in London with RS Europe. Dr. Taylor's research focuses primarily on drone weapons technology, although previous work has centered on cryogenics technology and the impact of the matrix on social structures and human development. The current research, Dr. Taylor is joint chair of the RS Asia Drone Research Laboratories with Dr. Ian Hardingham. Current projects include expansion of the Hangzhou Bay Tidal Power System, a proposal to expand the Hong Kong MTR maintenance program and further research into machine learning. Search for Dr. Hardingham. Dr. Hardingham I, Hardingham I, rjz.hkcentral.hkfez, Advanced Drone Weaponry Division, Floor 27. Biography Dr. Gandhi Hardingham has transferred to the Hong Kong offices of Ares Asia Holdings from his previous post in London. At RS Europe, Dr. Hardingham holds advanced degrees in weapons design, mechanical engineering, and holds several patents in the field of artificial intelligence research. As a joint current research, as a joint chair of the RS Asia Drone Research Laboratories, Dr. Hardingham's duties are primarily related to the research and development of new artificial intelligence solutions that will keep our macro technology competitive in this rapidly changing world. While the specific work of the drone research laboratories is classified, previous efforts have been centered around self repairing machinery, robotic game theory, and collective machine learning. Okay, let's alter the visitor records. Objective complete, planned visitor records. You slip the data chip into a port on the public terminal and let the worm to go to work. After several seconds, the chip flashes green. Now, RS Asia Holdings records show that Golden Fong has visited on several occasions in the past. Do nothing. Objective edit, get to floor 27. Okay. So let's check out this. This vent could fit a drone through it, absent that there is not much you can do with this. Send one of the team's drones in. Okay, activate drone to send into the vent. Let's go in and see what's there. Power conduit. This power conduit is limited elevator control and power. A series of tangled cables and wires weave in and out of the junction box as if it's been patched and repairs made many times. A note in taped. A note is taped to the side of the box. For God's sake, don't touch anything in here without contacting me first. This box is the most temperamental piece of crap I've ever worked with. If anything gets unplugged, the elevator system will go down and take the security card readers with it. Why did we spend all that new and on improving security if everyone has to take the stairs? Please. The drone could fairly easily rip out some of these cables, rendering the elevator and employee ID card readers inoperable until repaired. Okay, I do nothing for now because we have we were able to rig the to rig the elevator. I will go back into the into the matrix. Elevator controls. Let's try out this thingy here again. And check out the last remaining places which I have not visited, although I have no clue what to do with the gas pipe, gas wells. Jack in. 
And again... This one... This one... This one... This one... Let's try the boost one for now. We'll see if I'll be able to activate it. No? So the only place which I haven't visited is here and here. Oh man oh man, crazy. Let's go here. Just in case. Yes, this one is clear. I remember good. Okay, there is a chance probably that I will have to visit uh, all the wells one by one. Nope. This place is safe, I hope so. It was not. Let's do first this. There is gas valve to control. Looks like this one is really safe, at least for now. And here is gas valve one. Let's check out this one first. Nothing. Let's check the Goswell one.
Let's hack it. Again, 25 seconds. This subsystem is currently offline. It appears to be a one way off switch for a gas system. Hmm. It really looks like I am not able to do anything with this. Before meeting some prerequisites. Thank you. Well, let's have this one as well, just for the sake of it. Wow, that was close. Three seconds. <laughs> but I still was able to do, go through it. Let's inspect. Again, this subsystem is currently offline. It appears to be a one way off switch for a gas system. Ooh. So. This really looks like. I have no chance to go anywhere at the moment. Let's see one more time this one place. Nope. 
there is nowhere to go except for this place. This one should be connectable. Probably with this one, but I have no clue how to get there. Ooh. Let's try to search a little bit before forward. is already unlocked. Yeah, jig out and let's try out the elevator. Let's see. Objective edit, plant financial data, and gain access to the main lab, and plant camera footage, and retrieve the auto repair unit. We are now at floor 27. Excellent memo. We have arrived. Rector straightens himself up, smoothing out the front of his jacket. We should make certain to find the auto repair prototype while we're here. What do we just search around? Rector shrugs, glancing around the room. I don't see why not. They'll definitely have stored it somewhere near here. Okay, we have Dr. Hardingham's office and Dr. Taylor's office. Lab safe. Let's check out stuff around here. Let's do this first. Hey, who the hell are you? I don't recognize you, which means you sure as hell don't work on this floor. What's your business here? Uh, sorry, I'm lost. How do I get to metric security? Ah, oh, okay, that's on floor 37. This is 27. Just head back out and uh, when you get to the floor 37, turn left at the first hallway junction. You can't miss it. I catch you back on this floor too. I'm raising the alarm. Okay. So that's not the way where I wanted to go unless I unlock this door. It is another matrix checkpoint. Oh no. Let's go here. Security system servers. This server cluster handles the local records and system for floor 27. Undoubtedly, the building wide system has backup this data. Um, but anything occurring here will be fed to the large RS Asia servers. This makes it perfect place to upload the worm and faked camera footage. Upload camera footage. Objective complete. A few moments later the chip flashes a green light, indicating that camera records on 4th floor 27 will now show footage of Golden Funk meeting with Dr. Taylor and Hardingham. 
Okay, let's try out the metrics again. Maybe we'll finally be able to open the open the valves. This computer appears to have an open port for a cyber deck. Okay, boost. Killer, medic, sniffer, and suppression. Yep. But still no use to get there. Okay, I need to check a little bit around more to find out what can be useful for. Shutter controls. Laser laboratory shutter controls. Shutter must be closed during energy emittance testing. Failure to close shutters is ground for immediate disciplinary action. There is a small note attached to the panel. The shutter controls are currently also closing the security room shutters. I talked to the maintenance about it, but they haven't had a chance to fix it yet. So, bear in mind, when you close the shutters for laser testing, security cannot respond, as the side door outlocks. Make sure nobody goes in and out of the main lab while the shutters are down. Close the shutters. Laser test in progress, closing the shutters. Hmm. Okay. Let's check the lab safe. No, let's check the lab computers first. RS Asia Directory Energy Weapon Laboratory NX Out Viam Inveniam Out Fasiam. Please direct your query. Search for uh, Auto Repair Project. Auto Repair Project. Attention, all information contained herein is considered secret or con. Duplication of files forbidden. Authorized eyes only. Select file. RS Asia Holdings Laboratory Record System Security. Safety. Progress. Enter query. Desert Wars Field Testing. Congratulations everyone, RS Europe's given us uh, the go ahead on, enter the gr on entering the Griffin drone prototypes into the season of Desert Wars. Between the auto repair circuitry, the MP laser prototypes and the self-organizing threat assessment programs. I think we've got a great chance at being one of the standout stars in the season. Obviously, we have a lot of work to do between now and the kickoff event, so I'm expecting plenty of crunch time. I know each and every one of you wants this as much as I do. It's hard for me to express how proud I am of this team and all the hard work you've put in over the past year. If we can pull this off, we're positioned to be one of the biggest teams in security drone hardware in the past 10 years. If we buckle down and put it in the hours required, I know we can do it. Glenn live at my office. Come get some. Dr. Taylor. Rakta grunts soundly. When he speaks, he sounds almost sad. Taylor, how far are you fallen? When we worked together, he'd never have written this kind of limp corporate missive. We all cared enough about our work, and we never had to motivate the team like this. He has become a management tool for Aris Makrotech. I doubt there's much left of the passionate young researcher I knew. You sound sad. I am. Uh, Dr. Tyler I knew was ready to work out of the basement, a garage, even an ice cream, 
even an ice cave when we got snowed in outside of Novosibirsk during field tests. This new one, he gave up everything that made his independent work valuable, tied down by inflexible budgets, deadlines and the arbitrary constraints of a bloated marketing department. Of course I'm sad, his attention is confined by meaningless process, and the world is poorer for it. RS Asia Holdings Laboratory Record System Security Safety Progress Enter Query Re, Re Self Organization Subroutine Bugs Hey Ian, I've been encountering a worrying bug and the latest multi drone mesh network tests. After checking on it, I'm pretty sure it originates in the self organization subroutines. When the Griffin drones go into self diagnostic mode and start sharing their telemetry data after failed activity, they stop responding to external commands, even kicking the debugger over to admin mode once stop them. It looks like they are not responding to outside commands because they are identifying activity orders as non-critical in the comparison to their attempts to share and learn from each other's telemetry. It's downright spooky. Try to push me out of the room during one of the tests because one started firing uh, the one share cleanup basecamp function and the rest picked up on it. They identified me as an object to be removed from this secure space. And the worst part is that the trigger condition was me trying to shut down the mesh network. I don't know, Ian. I don't like the idea of drones making valuable judgments about administrator orders. I'd like to strip out the self-organization code for future tests until I can debug it. I understand that we are trying to play catch up with Renrak on the pseudo intelligence front, but the fallout uh, if this bug spreads could be pretty catastrophic. Dr. Ian. Or Dr. Yan. Okay, wait to uh, the next test. Just a uh, heads up for the team. Hold on for the self organization test until you get the all clear from uh, me, Taylor or Yan. There's a bug where the drone network refuses external orders while they're pursuing their self-generated directives, data sharing, learning, battle examination, etc. It's nothing critical, but it's going to make debugging other systems a pain in the ass until we get it sorted out. General tests are still a go. Dr. Taylor. 10 to 1. They're still using my old code. It sounds like the same kind of bug I encountered during my early test in Moscow. Black turns a hand through his hair, squinting at the computer screen from over your shoulder. The problem is that they're trying to give orders to the drones while drones have prioritized they, their own desires over those of the end user. They'll never respond so long as they're in group reflection mode. They're still working off your code? How long ago was that? Six years. I spent most of that in Berlin, running with a hell of a street samurai. I got out before she did, before the flux stake went under. No idea if Lucky Strike got out or not, but I expect she did. I was never the best programmer of the team, but after my accident I went back to my old self-organization code to revise it. The new perspective helped, honestly. The deeper I go into the data sharing and self-development uh, code, the more I came to realize that it was impossible to build a truly independent drone uh, system as simple as waiting or the priority. Checking from A to B to C is functional, but inelegant. My solution was to create a system of interlocking desires and motivations that shift and change over time. The only overriding principle is that both Koshche and I must work together to solve the problems. That's a novel approach. That's why it works as well. As we increased independence, so too is uh, danger increased. If Koshche determined the best method of preserving my life was to shoot me in the leg, it would do so and I would likely allow that to happen. Koshche's senses and analytical capabilities are superior to my own, at least in terms of battlefield threat assessment.
Pioneers, Asia Holding Cell Laboratory Record System, Security Safety, Progress, Enter Query. Go back. And search recent messages. Recent messages. Attention, all information contained herein is considered secret or con duplication of files forbidden. Authorized eyes only. Select file. Olympics cancelled. Can't stinking believe it, junk. Uh, after spending all that uh, time and money tracking down tickets to the 2016 Now Tokyo Olympics, the OIC has cancelled them entirely. Some crap about not having enough participants. I guess a ton of countries pulled out in protest over Japan's treatment of metahumans and the way they handled their holdings in California. I mean, yeah, I'm all for equality, but the Olympics, that's about the brotherly love, the spirit of cooperation and the unity of mankind. I can't imagine anyone using them for such transparently political purposes. It breaks my heart. Dr. Ishiguro. Shia, can you put those reports on my desk? Shia, I was hoping to take a look at your power output test data sometime soon. I'm going to be in and out of the office all day, so just let yourself in and put them on my desk. The code is 98144. Dr. Taylor. Go back. Walk away. Okay, Dr. Taylor's door, co door code. Let's open the door. And let's see what's in. Nope. Let's not. This one is shut down, so let's try this one. Hmm. There is a lot of stuff here. Okay. <clears throat> so let's get one by one. First, Dr. Hardingham's office. The cape it awaits your input. Cancel. Nope. Let's go to the Dr. Taylor's. And it was night eight one four four. There is a barely audible click and the door unlocks. Let's check out the Taylor's computer. User Dr. Taylor P. RS Asia Holdings wishes you a productive day. Email RS Asia Holdings Integrated Email System Security Safety Progress Enter Query. You kill Joy. Hardingham, I cannot believe you. Did you tattle on me to deny a rant, saying I'd blown off the security brief and run to go drink alone? Psh, I'm a senior researcher, not a bloody prisoner. If I decide to go have a drink on my own, that's my business. Besides, Central and Admiralty are both crawling with police at any hour. They're AAA secure for God's sake. Taylor. Up time. Listen, H. I really do hear what you're saying about security, and I promise I'm not joking it lightly. Taking it lightly. I was thinking we could hit up the pawn after the meeting tomorrow. I've got eight or so takers from the lab, and Knight Errant promised to loan us a low-profile bodyguard to make sure nothing goes awry. How's that sound to you, Taylor? R door code. Door code. They changed uh, your door code while you were out on vacation. The chips got a little fried when someone forgot to close the shutters in the laser lab. They, when they were testing one of the new emitters. It's 23847. Project 2231. 
Each one of the researchers downstairs hit me up in a meeting about supporting something called Project 2231. It's headquartered in the Algonquin Money to Council, some godforsaken black site called Complex uh, Hash 68G. I guess it has something to do with the debacle in Chicago. Research into cleaning up the CEZ and whatnot. I thought I'd be it would be nice if we could give them a hand. Just let them a prototype for the for the specs. Let them test the laser out there, Taylor. Go back. Project Records. Redline prototype directory active. Authorize the users only. Remember, security is everyone's business. And query. Security briefing. Attention, RS Asia Holdings employee and residents. Last week, night around officers responsible for the security of this facility received several reports of suspicious activity in the public area of the building. At 1331 last Tuesday, security footage shows a troll approximately 20 to 28 years of age entering the public mezzanine areas of the building. The subject was seen attempting to gain access to the restricted areas. The subject exited the facility before night run could intercept and question him. Reports from RS citizenry indicates the subject was asking about research labs working on directed energy weapons. Several hours later, the subject was seen re-entering the building from a side entrance, wearing a custodial uniform. Night run guards attempted to detain the subject, but during their arrest attempt, the board guards were severely injured. Any employee or resident uh, should contact security immediately if they see this troll. Do not attempt to detain him or interact with him in any way. The subject is considered highly dangerous. There is a note attached from Kite Knight around security. Dr. Taylor, it's come to our attention that you have not been treating this threat with the seriousness we believe it deserves. Please remember that the safety of uh, your person and your research is not solely your concern. A strike against you is a strike against all of RS macro technology. When engaging in offset entertainment from now on, we would request that you travel with a group. Thank you. Emitter Aperture Refinement I uh, had to change the emitter and focusing array in our latest MP4 Redline prototype. Prior to this, we were using the same emitter array as the MP Laser 3, since it's a proven design. Unfortunately, that array is too large to continue using at this point, and there's a legacy software that we need to update. The largest problem is that the outer, the outer lens is 3mm too large for our new housing. In light of that, I've commissioned 20 new focusing arrays. They're being manufactured in Detroit, but should arrive next week at the latest. The fabrication technique is the same type that we acquired from this last year. It should give us superior game coherence even in high dust and fox situations. Taylor. Prior emitter research. Personal notes on MP laser research. I've been going back through the files from RS Arms research on the original MP laser. A lot of the work has done by one Dr. Elliot Mills Fargo. Unfortunately, Mills Fargo is dead. From what I can gather, his son killed him during a drunken argument. What's curious is that most of the research files have been heavily redacted. It's all very curious. It's almost as if RS Arms doesn't want anyone to know anything about the initial research. It's very curious given that we're all supposed to be working toward the same thing, aren't we? From what I can gather, Mills Fargo had a radically different design philosophy than Hardingham and I. Most of Mills Fargo's notes indicate that uh, he was uh, primarily interested in purely vector solution fiber lasers rather than our own dipe doped matrix technology. 
From what I understand, that's also the basis for Winter System's own attempts at a man portable laser solution. I can't find any evidence of how they would have developed that technology without access to Mills Fargo's work. Though, curious. Taylor. Go back. And plant financial data. Objective complete. Plant financial data. After a few moments, the data chip light flashes green, indicating the data has been uploaded. Log out. Okay, we have also Dr. Hannigan's door code. So let's see that. It's two, three, eight, four, seven. There is a barely how to be click and the door unlocks. Harding Gang's computer. Nothing else. Hmm. This looks like a opening for a drone, but not working. So let's. Check the computer. User Dr. Hardingham. Hi, RS Asia Holdings wishes you a productive day. Project records. Redline protobun. Redline Prototype Directory Active. Authorized users only. Remember, security is everyone's business. Enter query. Our output. Railing many reports aren't good. We can miniaturize the aperture and emissions array from the MP laser 3. And it's definitely possible to get them to a handheld size, but that's never been a problem. Energy density is the core concern. Our batteries just aren't up to snuff if we shrink them down to a pistol size. Without the MP Laser 3's battery pack, we'll be, we'll be lucky if we ever find a way to break 6 or 7 shots. It's a terrible problem, and one the boys over in the material science have been dragging their feet on. I've been checking into using some of the new dual phase batteries, but the cost seems prohibitive. I made a note to Director Huey, asking if we could get some help from RS Arms Europe. The Firelands research teams made a great deal of headway using stage graphing capacitors. Maybe there's something we could learn from them. Pardon them. Uh, security briefing. Attention, RS uh, Asia holding employees and residents. Last week, night around officers responsible for the security of this facility received several reports of suspicious activity in the public area of the building at 1331. Yada yada, the same as a Dr. Taylor. Yada yada, the same. The same. There is a note attached from the night around security. Dr. Hardingham, it's our belief that the troll we recorded is interested in the research you and Dr. Taylor are undertaking. As such, we will be proving extra security for your offsite team building exercise. Please be extremely careful when not within the facility. Your research and person are under threat at the moment. Okay, drone integration. Those appears to be Dr. Handingham's notes on attaching a prototype to security drones. Things proceed the pace. Uh, assuming a standard medium drone like the Inquisitor of Robert 9230 models, the drone provides sufficient power to enable the prototype effectively. Unlimited bursts, though there's a 30 second charge time. Uh, the capacitors are drained rapidly. The small size of the emitter lens also means, means uh, the prototype can be mounted modularly or internally as the platform dictates. For smaller drone sizes, the output is more restricted but still valuable. 
charge times increasing to between 2 and 5 minutes, assuming standard battery power. This does unfortunately reduce the drone loiter time. Each shot reduces the loiter time by approximately 2 and a half minutes, more than enough for a sustained engagement, but something we'll want to keep an eye on. I believe we can increase efficiency in these cases for including a supercooling medium, liquid nitrogen or the like to reduce the heat pumps draw from the power systems, maybe something like we work out for the Sentinel P series berth, Dr. Hardingham. Go back and email. RS Asia Holdings Integrated Email System Security safe, Safety Progress and Recovery. Rehune Kiljai. Taylor, I don't think you're taking this security bre breach seriously enough. A bloody troll tried to waltz into the building ju not just once, but twice. He beat up some of the bully boys downstairs, and he's definitely after our work. And you want to waltz off to the pub like nothing happened? At least go in a group, man. Hardinger. Uh, cheating bastard. Listen, I don't know how you managed to beat me in that last game, but I know you're cheating. All the data checks out, but I can't believe your I'm suddenly gotten so much better than mine. When I find out what the heck you cooked up, you're going to owe me 15 yuan. Either that, or your characters are all going to be wearing bright green lime costumes from now on. Harnega. Leaking went. Went 3 blocker IC code. Dr. T Taylor, we appreciate your concern about the threat neutralization system leaking from all your office. Ironvent, your safety and the safety of the lab are our topmost priorities. Until we can get some maintenance to inspect the valve, you can access the security control for Vent via the matrix. The blocker IC code is uh, C-O-C-O-R-T. 3XFRZ. Should any further leaks occur, please contact us again. Okay, so now we got the uh, password for the vent number three. Pop time. Okay, Taylor, I've, uh, if you've got an eight. Uh, if you've got an eight people and a bodyguard together for a pin or two after we have our meeting, I'm game. Sorry about being so testy earlier, I just don't relish the idea of uh, being beaten to a bloody pulp by some truck with an interest in my research. Hardingham. Okay, go back. And do nothing. Next thing is to check the lab safe. Safe status locked. There is a small key card slot on the side of the safe. The red lights glow softly next to it, indicating the safe is still locked. Find a key for the lab safe. Okay, let's check the matrix for a second or. Well, yeah, this one is everything. Yeah, let's check the matrix if anything is okay with the vents. Check in. Okay. Blaster boost. Killer medic. And suppression. Well, let's check the number three. This one hit me. Uh, 
No, still the control are not. So let's check out and let's get into the last room we have not yet explored. Gain access to the main lab. Objective complete and retrieve the prototype and retrieve the auto repair unit. The stillness of the RS laboratory is suddenly rent by the unmistakable sound of an explosion. The floor trembles beneath your feet and dust falls from the ceiling tiles. As the echoes of, uh, of the blast recede around you, the distinctive smell of atomist concrete and scorch carpeting wafts and through the vents. Duncan whips his goggles across the room, scanning for a clue as to what happened. What the hell? Somebody set off a goddamn bomb somewhere on this floor. Gobert addresses Duncan with a cheerful expression, and this time we didn't do it. Up high, big man. Gobert raises her hand for a high five. It goes unreturned, and she sheepishly lowers her hand. Raktor taps out a few comments on his bracer and doesn't even look up when he speaks. I'm not about to let anyone deny us our prize. If they're smart, they'll try to talk to us. If they're not, they're just another obstacle. With an explosion like that, our window just got a lot shorter. Oh shit, come on, let's move. The longer we sit here jabbering, the closer backup gets to us. The combatants in the next room are quite obviously Shadowrunners. Their gear is mismatched, uh, they wear no uniforms, and a mixture of technical gear and heavy armor indicates they're prepared for anything. Okay. Maybe I try. Maybe now it's the time for putting the gas in the room. Let's pick up this first. The other Shadowrunners huddle up. Their voices are loud enough that you can hear them even through the glass door. They don't seem to have noticed you yet. Rise, Donna Crutch. That was nasty. The orc wipes sweat from his brow with the back of one hand. Joe, is, the, is that the last of them? Looks like it, Bull. My seat will wreck the stairwell, so we're safe from backup via that road. He hands Gantian to the human woman next to him. Breezy, how are we doing? Taking a long drink from the canteen, the woman breathes a deep sigh of relief before tossing it back to Joel. Remind me again why we went to executive level before getting to the lab. I'm all for a brawl, but pulling for night around the depths of, of Opti isn't my idea of a party. Dizzy points an accusatory finger at the shaman. You, sir, need to practice your martial arts. Opti raises his hands uh, placatingly. We had to go up there, Dizzy. Without the K-card to get into the lab, we are as good as that. Well, bull could have hacked the door, but his deck got slacked after you threw that rigor into him and broke his concentration. Uh, slowly back away. Gingerly. You start to inch away from the door and stay out of his sight. One step, two. Unfortunately, like a predator attracted by motion, the mount called, called Gerald notices his eye lock with yours. Hey, he gets just to argue. You, but it is tensing up. Who the hell are you? People who don't care about your problems. Dizzy bristles at his, her neck tensing. After a moment, she exhales a long breath, as if to calm herself. I can respect that, but we're getting in that lap. Hit it, Bull. No arguments here. Bull waves an RFID keycard at the door, but it only buzzes in denial. He glances at the keycard in irritation. What the hell? This card doesn't work. 
you set off an alarm and don't ha even have a way out, amateurs. Despite the worry on the faces of his compatriots, the human named Joel is unconcerned. He glances casually around the room, rifle slung. Plans first contact with the enemy, you know that uh, kind old phrase. We well, there's ammo, there's a way out. So are you going to let us in or what? No, I don't think so. Not until you tell me what you're doing here. Probably the same thing as you. That lab has a laser prototype, yeah? That's what we're here for. I just... it just looks like you got to it first. Opti glances over his shoulder nervously. Do you think we could have this conversation inside? In a minute, beard boy. How oh, hot on your ass is Knight errand anyway? It sucks that you're trapped out there, but I don't want guards crawling all over us either. Given the shitstorm we set off by going to the executive penthouses first, we probably have a few minutes. They'll be too busy fight, uh, trying to figure out what we were doing up there. Charles runs a hand through his hair and shrugs. Harding him and Taylor's apartment are pretty trashed, so they'll have to figure out what we're really after before they can respond again. Why were you up in the executive picked houses? I've gotten some intel that Hardingham and Tyler would be out tonight, but they had a secure safe down here. We figured that uh, would be where they kept the prototype, and the key would also work on the lab door. Well, Bull looks mournfully at the key card in his hand. If wishes were fishes, looks like we made the wrong move. He didn't heading up there first. Rector gives you a significant look. He speaks quietly, so that only you can hear. I know Taylor and Hardingham. That key is almost certainly for the private safe where they're keeping the auto repair circuitry. We need to let these runners in so I can get that key. Let's find out if they're willing to give up the key. You gesture at Bull, getting his attention. Yeah, you made a decision yet. I'm getting kinda nervous out there. Uh, I need the cake card you've got. Objective added. Let the runners in. Well, I don't know what it goes to, but it sure as hell doesn't get us inside the lab. Sure, I guess. Did I pick up that one? Nope. Let's see now. Okay. Well, I'll do it later because I think here is one went. And we'll see how this goes. Karma gained one. Jarl nods in appreciation once the other team is safely inside the lab. Thanks a lot, we would have been cut apart out there. Never let yourself get backed into a corner. You know? This is Ares, you should have been more prepared. Somebody should have rode an assault cannon like he'd planned. But no, getting in through C-Tech security was too much trouble. Don't sass me, Opti. If I'd had my way, I'd have brought a second deck too. Goddamn Sparky, I see. The orc hefts his deck mournfully. Wisps of smoke trail out of it, and there is a distinct smell of ozone. Uh, lab safe key card. Objective complete. Find the key for the lab safe. Hey, catch. This key card's worthless to me. 
Well, to assess you, the key card he was attempting to use on the lap floor, lap door. Thanks. Jarl spends a few moments criticizing you when his face suddenly lights up. Wait a minute, I recognize you. You remember, right? Your name's all over the shadows of Hong Kong. From what I hear, you've been doing a lot of work for Kindly Chang. Well, then, blinking a few times, Lizzie looks you over. There's a touch of awe in her voice when she speaks. I didn't expect to run into such heavy hitters on our first run out here. You have me at a disadvantage. Who are you? I'm Dizzy, the guy with the rifle in the jaw. Dizzy stage whispers at you, cupping a hand next to her mouth. We try not to use the defa definite article. It sounds silly. Jarl or the Jarl, whichever is non pulsed by Dizzy's antics. It's a title, Dizzy. It deserves a D before it. Dizzy gestures at the Shaman and the Orc. These two are Opti and Bull. Magic and tech support. So. You ever heard of us? A uh, little, yeah. You operate mostly in the UCAS, right? Yeah, I'm from all over. Don't really stay in one place much. The other three are all from the Great Lakes area. Ruefully, Jar glances at the rest of his team. This was supposed to be an easy trip overseas for us. Do this job, maybe two or three more, and fly home. Jarl puts one finger to his ear. He cocks his head, listening intently. After a moment, he lets out a string, out, uh, string of half uttered curses. We're running out of time. We've got to mow, and soon. Not so fast. What about the prototype? Bull shakes his head and snorts crudely. We can argue about this here, or we can try and get out of here before we get killed. It makes you feel better. If it makes you feel better, you hang on to it until we get out of harm's way. Duncan nods his approval. Yeah, I think we'll do that. I just wanna get out of here. Listen, what's your way out? We were. Uh, we were going to rappel over the federated uh, Boeing building next door, but with all the wreckage, well, I think we'd probably get shot off the line. Come with us, we are taking the elevator shaft to a collapsed MTR station. I didn't even know that there was a heat there. Should have done better legwork before we got here. Bull reloads his pistol, snapping it back into the holster with a lot loud click. Wheel fellow, more guns couldn't hurt, right? You lead the way, we'll be right behind you. Suddenly there is a blare of arms, red lights click on overhead as an accompaniment of the noise accompaniment to the noise. You also hear a sudden hissing sound, rather like a tire deflating, and with that sound comes an acrid odor hanging heavy in the air. They're gassing us. Look, over there, it's coming out of that vent. If my deck wasn't far right, I'd be able to jig in and stop it. Hope you brought a deck or some drones. If you haven't, we've got uh, to get out of here. Fast. Retrieve the auto repair unit and shut off the gas. Rounds until the gas reaches critical levels and valves closed. Three. Okay, so I am the decker and I can check in. Let's use Duncan to pick this up. MP laser for prototype. Objective complete. Retrieve the prototype. Let's go here. I'm not yet. Go bit. Let's go here. 
ammo. Let's go here. Director. Let's do it this way. And Memo has two more rounds to run. First vent. First gas is closed. Duncan, let's go here. Okay, with first valves done, we have four more rounds to the gas. Okay, let's get first with Gobet. Let's hide behind this. And I messed up. Ooh -hoo. Never mind. Let's go here. Premium medicate. Let's see how far we can run. Oh. Thank you. 
Okay. Let's see what we can do with acidic fog. Nope. Well, first thing first. Still alive. Wow. Wow, well, he's down. Good. And now a little bit, at least that six hit point back to the Decker. was a really interesting move where the guy hits his own friends not enough AP let's wait for a second Five percent, so let's let's do this first. Four of them. That's nice. We can try to hit him. Nope. Eighty four percent. Good. And his drone is down as well. Let's get here then. Nope. Oh. Eleven damage. Oh. No. Over a clock. And I still have. Good. 
Target neutralized. Walls closed. Uh, critical levels 6 out of 19. So let's use this. For this, let's use medics, killer, boost, and Let's use this as well. No, I take the. Well, whatever. Let's do it. That's not safe, let's hide behind the couch. And the second went. the matrix the number three is here one and two is shut down up run fast Shoot of gas. Done. Let's check out. And I still have to... to open the door. Enough. 
Let's open the doors. Another security control panel. Wow. I wish I knew that. Okay, let's go closer to the rigger. And all the enemies are down. Or not. Looks like not. At least we have a little bit better accuracy now. Let's see. 40, 55, let's try this. Let's get here. One shot of runner down. Duncan. I picked my feet with tougher busters than you.
Again, bluster boost. Killer. Medic. And suppression. Gosh, Jay. Only ten. Don't tell me it's the same. Oh, man, oh, man. So I run there and lost one Shadow Runner because of me being a little bit greedy. Now let's go here. Okay, this one is down. Go bet. Prepare push chain. No line of sight. Okay, so let's let's not do anything. Thankfully she is asleep. Swiping the K-car across the slot, the safe lets out a beep and the light flashes green. As the door swings open, the contents are revealed. A stack of chips and plexiglass cube containing a tangle of drone parts. With a depth of grab, you scoop up the goods. Okay, mission item at uh, auto-repair prototype data. 
retrieve the auto repair unit and escape. Okay, so first... Let's do this. And this. Uh, Rector peers intently at his bracer as he scans the room with it. I think that's the last of the security on this floor, but it won't be long before reinforcements arrive. There should notice when their soldiers stop checking in. I just hope we can be gone before they realize we were ever here. I don't like the idea of Knight Errant tracking us back to Kraken. Duncan very looks over his shoulder. The last thing we need is a bunch of armed soldiers coming to where we live. That's unlikely, thankfully. Of all the Megas, uh, Aris has the best relationship with the Shadow community. They'll kill us, to be certain, but their management understands that we perform a necessary service, one that they pay for with great regularity. Okay, so... Let's go to the... Elevator. A quick save and... Uh, the elevator doors refuse to open. Some kind of manual looks in engage. A uh, blinking alert message reads, elevator in transit. Doors will unlock once elevator passes floor 27. Looks like you won't be able to pry them open for a minute or two. Better hunker down. More enemies. Okay, just in case... I don't know what awaits us. More enemies. Great. Let's do it this way. And this way. Sit. Mist Boo. Let's use it this way.
line of sight blocked. Ah, boohoo. Okay. So let's do it this way. Nice one. Okay, the doors are open. Let's do them some. Damage. Sometimes it's better to run away. One, so let's escape. Duncan. And mammal. And that was another part of Old Man Plays Shadowrun Hong Kong Extended Edition for the first time. In today's episode we went into the RS Asia facilities and we are able to first save another Shadow Runner Gunk and then retrieve all the items. We went there uh, which Rector wanted to steal from their old traitorous colleagues and unfortunately during the fights and the facility we have lost one of the shadow runners uh, the, from the second group so i really hope this will not hinder our progress later in the game so if you enjoyed the game as much as i did feel free to follow me here on twitch or subscribe to my youtube channel enjoy the rest of your day <laughs>